Okay, so we're going to go through the process of placing a, the uh, cul-de-sac sole sail. And then uh, the first reference is alignment center line profile. And then it wants a uh, data point uh, at the cul-de-sac cul center. And it should be on the alignment center line. Uh, we'll just use key point and just snap to the end of that element there. And then a data point along the alignment, minimum 80 feet uh, before cul-de-sac center. So I want just data point somewhere along there. The geometry looks good. Uh, I, I do think that reference, the direction of that alignment center line needs to be towards the uh, cul-de-sac center there. So you could flip that if needed. In this case, it's correct direction I'll reset and accept that sale okay so we'll go over a few of the uh, edits we'll kind of discuss horizontal first so you can select this uh, this uh, arc here and, and modify that value there but you would need to do it twice because you can see that snap. So we're controlling that uh, that arc radius value there. Actually, with this element here, it's actually called radius control. And uh, you know, to me, it it's uh, better if you come in and just edit the value there. So if I wanted to change that to 50 feet, you can watch the 3D view, and that uh, that radius will or the size of that cul-de-sac will change. Uh, a couple other edits, 12, 12 foot lanes coming in, obviously you can make changes there. And then if we came in and selected this edge of pavement, you obviously can change it uh, 50 foot radius there. All right, so that's, that's pretty much the edits. It's just, just Pretty, pretty basic there. Uh, like, like I said, you can change that radius you're seeing there, but it's ideal to, to make that edit here on that line. Uh, this element here actually is really what's controlling the, uh, the profile of the cul-de-sac itself. Uh, one thing that really doesn't need to happen is if you you can't, you know, this thing set initially 100 feet. You don't need to make your radius value longer than this element. Now, you can just extend it. Like if you needed a 120, just extend this to 130 uh, before you actually make that arc edit because you're really what we're doing with this element here, we're placing a 2% slope on it. You can see it right here with the profile rule. If I came in and opened this profile view up, So you'll see if we go in and select this profile here, see that point there? That point there is actually the alignment uh, elevation there. And then basically what we're doing is just drawing 2% down from there. Obviously you can change the, the slope of that line, which quite honestly is controlling the entire slope of that, that arc there. So if I open up another view, and we'll take a look at the profile of this arc. That elevation that you see on this is it's just going to be flat uh, initially. Anyway, you can change it whatever you want, but it's this elevation uh, really where where that line intersects that edge of pavement there. So you don't, you know, that's one of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to push this the size of this cul-de-sac pat beyond this line. But like I said, it's a easy edit to if you if you do want to do that just make that line longer there well, the last edit I'll discuss is this uh, 
just controlling the length of that, uh, the approach side of that cell there. So if I wanted to come in and just modify that length, just pick up that, that end station and move it down like that. Okay. 